This is my three minute thighs, abs and butt workout. So just three minutes and we're gonna to tone these three areas. So these are the three moves we're gonna do. This one is toning through the bottom on here. Then the next one we're gonna do is this exercise which is amazing for the inner thighs. And then also we're gonna do the ab exercises. There's actually two of these that we're gonna be doing. So it is important, remember before you start this, warm up, then I'm gonna go through the full workout with you. So for the first exercise, we're gonna work the bottom. So on all fours, you're gonna squeeze that leg out to the side, then you squeeze it behind. So we're literally just rotating from the hip. What is important here, squeeze tight into the bottom, but also keep your foot flexed. So we work it to the side, then lift behind, lift out to the side and behind, and also keep those tummy muscles fully engaged for me on there. Then the next one, we now come onto the thighs. What is important, make sure your heels are over the line of the hips, so they are in front of your body, don't let them drop back. And literally just take your legs out to the side, then squeeze back in. This is toning through your inner thighs on there. Also, let your legs come out as wide as they can. This also will help increase your flexibility on here as well. So we take it out to the side and then come back. Okay, so let's come back to work the bottom this time now, work the opposite leg. So again, remember, squeeze behind, lift out to the side, keep your foot flex, and each time really think about squeezing the bottom really tight, especially when you take that leg behind. When you're lifting that leg out to the side, make sure you come up as high as you can as well on there. Keeping that going, that's good, squeezing that tight. All right, let's come back to those thighs again, take them out to the side and then draw them back in. And also on here you can work the abdominals as well, simply by just pulling your belly button in tight to your spine whilst you're doing this exercise. Take them out and back. And always make sure you work through what we call the fullest range of movement on there. That's good. So again, just think. Think of these benefits here. We're toning through those inner thighs. Okay, so now we're going to start working into those abdominals. So this time, legs are straight. Reach those hands up. So you're going to the outside of the ankle on there. Opposite hand to ankle, reaching up. That's working the long muscle that runs through the front of the abdominals. And now we're going to work the lower part through the abs. We're working the core muscles. So this time, really keep make sure you're keeping that belly button pulled in tight to the spine as you extend one leg down to the ground, keeping the leg as straight as you can as well. Okay, and let's take it back now. So now we're working back, reaching that hand across, coming over to the opposite angle, ankle, sorry. And with this, this is really good because now we're working the oblique muscle. So we're gonna shape into the waist. So the, that's why I wanted to put in two exercises. This now works into what we call the core muscles. So again, belly button, it's really important. You keep that in tight to the spine. That's it, and just slowly lower the leg down, draw it back up and keep it down. And also keep your palms facing up. If you have them facing down, you actually apply a bit of pressure through the upper body. So that means you lose a slight effect through the abdominal section. So always keep those palms facing up on there. Okay, well done. And that is now your three minute legs, tums and bum workout done. If you want to, just press start and just do that all again. You could do that whole routine so you've done a six minute workout. Um, but remember, it is really important to make sure you cool down. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up.